Right now, crews at Cherry Creek Reservoir are searching for clues after a woman finds a human jawbone floating in the water. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson first to tell us about that discovery, and Molly, searchers have been out there for hours. They have in the Arapahoe County Coroner just showed up here to try to determine if they've found anything of significance. Now, this is the area they've been searching since about one this afternoon. They've been walking the shoreline, putting evidence flags in some areas. She's now examining those areas, trying to see if they're truly anything related to this case. Still, it could be months before we truly have any answers. Near the reservoir swim beach, crime tape goes up after this human jawbone was found floating near the shoreline. And I see what is clearly a molar. Investigators are taking their first look, hoping a sonar boat and some old school detective work may uncover more remains. Small evidence flags the only hints they may be onto something. Cecil Stocks fishes here about twice a week. He had no idea the rangers a few feet away were checking for more than just fishing IDs. I feel a little weird having my pole out here now. If I pull in like a bone or something, oh my gosh, yes. That would be horrible. <laughs> Not surprisingly, he packed up right after our interview. See you guys. Investigators say it'll take time to know if they've made any related finds. All evidence will be carefully examined, a process they say could take weeks. And the coroner says those two remaining teeth on that jawbone could be their best shot at determining whom it belongs to. They've already begun looking at missing person cases. They've already ruled out one of them. Now, that jawbone will be sent to Texas, but it will be months before we get back those results. Reporting live at Cherry Creek Reservoir, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.